hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching for today's video i will be making some high-end decor using these dollar tree hooks so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft starting with my favorite diy i will be using two packs of the hooks each pack comes with two. Now I do want to show you different options that you can use. From the Dollar Tree, there's two options you can use. Each one costs $1.25. This oval and square wood piece. Now what I'm using is this bigger square wood piece that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99, but it was 40% off, so it was $1.79. All right, so I'm going to start by painting the wood piece using this new paint I recently got from Hobby Lobby. It cost me $6.49, and I'll have the name down in the description box in case you want to check it out. I absolutely love this color. I did paint the entire thing. Once this is dry, I will be using a piece of sand sheet to smooth out all the edges, and this is going to make it look more rustic and old. The next thing I will be doing is flipping the piece of wood around and placing the little hooks two on each side. I will be drilling them and to make sure they were nice and even I did use a piece of wood but that is basically it for this home decor little tray which I absolutely love how this turned out. For my next project, I will be doing something similar to the previous one, but instead I'm using three hooks and this pencil holder that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. I will be painting this two tones, so the bottom I painted it using this brown color. I then used some painter's tape and painted the other side white. Once it's dry, I will be removing the painter's tape and this is how it looks. Now I'm going to flip it around and add the hooks on the back. You can't drill them. I did use hot glue just because I will be reusing these hooks for my next project. I felt like the pencil holder was too small and a lot of the metal was showing so instead of leaving it like this I added another piece of wood that I got from Hobby Lobby. I glued it at the bottom, painted it the same color and then I added the hooks on the bottom which I think this made it look so much better. But that is it guys, that is it for this little planter which I think it turned out beautiful. For my next project, I will be using three hooks and four of these Dollar Tree wood pieces. Now I'm reusing mine. These wood pieces are 18 inches long and I'm going to paint them using the same color I've been using. 
once they are dry i will be gluing this together now i did only use hot glue but you can't use wood glue if you like instead Since I only use hot glue for extra support, I will be adding some popsicle sticks to the back. And this is how it looks. I think it turned out beautiful. Now you can add whatever to this. I will be using some stencils. The ones I'm using are from Hobby Lobby. I did get these a while back. They were... I forgot if $1.99 or $2.99, but they were on sale and two came in the pack. This one that says welcome and another one that said bless. Now I did use a painter's tape just to tape it down so like that it's easier for me to paint over it. Now I'm using a Dollar Tree little sponge paintbrush and some white paint. And I just, what I did is I just tapped it instead of like brushing it through, which I think this worked better because it didn't bleed through. Once it was dry, I did remove the stencil. Now this has this little other pattern, a butterfly and a leaf pattern, which the leaf pattern, I will be adding it on each side. First, I will be adding one. Once it's dry, I'm going to flip it around and add the other one. The next stencil I will be using is from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add the word home at the bottom. Now I could have left it like that but I feel like it was too empty there so I decided to just add home. And look how beautiful this sign looks. The next thing I will be adding is the hooks at the bottom. Now, because these pieces of wood aren't that thick, some of the little screw is going to poke through on the other side. What I did is I covered it using some popsicle sticks, but another thing you can do is just add some smaller screws if you have some instead. The last thing I will be adding is two sawtooth hooks. And that is it for this beautiful sign. For my next project, I'm using this Dollar Tree wood hanging decoy sign, which I'm going to paint the same color I've been using. Now, to decorate this, I will be using this Dollar Tree love little wood sign and one hook, the leftover hook that I have. But first, I am going to add some of these half wood beads that I got from Amazon. I have the link down in the description box in case you want to check them out. I did add some on the sides. Now, the only reason I added these was to cover the little holes that this sign had. Then I glued the love sign and the hook. Now, I did wish I had an extra hook because 
I would have added two of these little hooks instead of one, but I didn't have any more, so I just used the leftover one that I had. And that is it for this beautiful wall decor sign. For my next project, I will be making a two-piece set. Now from the Dollar Tree, I will be using these antique hooks. And from Hobby Lobby, I'm using these oval wood pieces. Now these were $2.99 each, but I did get them for 40% off, so they were $8.79 each. I do want to show you the Dollar Tree does carry oval signs that you can use instead, but they are a lot smaller. To paint these, I will be painting the top white and the edges using the same brown I have been using. And this is how they look. Now once they were dry, I did use a piece of sand sheet to send out all the edges. This is going to make it look more old and antique. The next thing I will be adding are the hooks. And I didn't like how they look. I felt like it needed something else. So I decided to distress the rest of the sign, which I think it made it look so much better. The next thing I did was I added these little sawtooth hooks to the back. Now these are from the Dollar Tree. I get these a lot from signs that I remove them from. I always save them and I reuse them. But that is it. I think these turn out beautiful. And that is it. Now let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.